Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum and I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana. And in the next seven or eight minutes, I would like to talk with you about the use of nitrous oxide for office-based urologic procedures. In this video, I will cover the difference between nitrous oxide and nitric oxide. I will talk about the safety of nitrous oxide, provide you with some urologic indications for using nitrous oxide in the office, the contraindications for using it, how to get started, and some of the economics associated with using nitrous oxide. The difference between nitrous oxide, N2O, and nitric oxide, NO, is that the nitrous oxide is a gas, which is an analgesic and anxiolytic, whereas the nitric oxide is a chemical signaling uh, uh, molecule, uh, which as we know from years ago is responsible for erections. The nitric oxide is released from non-adenergic, non-cholinergic nerve fibers, and that starts the cascade for uh, relaxation of the smooth muscles in the penis and responsible for an erection. Nitrous oxide is very safe to use in the office. It's given in conjunction with oxygen and the oxygen level given to the patient never gets below 30%. I mentioned that Ambient air that uh, patients are breathing is 20% O2 and approximately 80% nitrogen. The ratio never gets below 70% of nitrous oxide and never greater than 70% of nit nitrous oxide. And the oxygen is never less than 30% oxygen. The nitrous oxide is not an anesthetic and does not provide uh, sedation. It, it decreases pain and decreases anxiety. Consequently, no airway assistance is needed. Patients are able to communicate with the urologist during the procedure. And I mentioned historically, nitrous oxide has been used in dentistry successfully for more than 150 years. When giving the patient nitrous oxide, they use a mask and they can control the mask when they are feeling uh, no discomfort or uh, that analgesia has taken place. They can uh, remove the mask from their face. It is very safe and the effect of the nitrous oxide is gone after 30 seconds after the gas is turned off and the patient is converted to 100% oxygen. I've used it in my practice and patients will walk out of the office and can safely drive home five to 10 minutes after the procedure. The safety has been documented in hundreds of studies and in thousands of patients including pediatric patients. The maximum concentration of nitrous oxide is controlled with the uh, machine and it never gets greater than 70%. There are contraindications to using nitrous oxide. That is, if there's a facial deformity and the patient can't fit the mask over the nose and the mouth, or the patient requires the use of nasal oxygen. The training to use nitrous oxide consists of a two and a half hour online course. To get started, you have to complete the course and you have to provide evacuation of the exhaled gas from the room to the outside of the building. This usually uh, costs, it, less than $250. And this is primarily for the protection of your female assistants 
uh, in the office, or if you're a female doctor, urologist, uh, you do not want to have uh, access to the nitrous oxide. The time to set up the equipment is approximately an hour, and I do recommend having a consent for the use of nitrous oxide, of which I would be happy to share with you. The cost, the training uh, is, online training is $400. Each disposable mask is approximately $50. The crash cart and supplies needed for the, uh, uh, to have available for safety precautions is about $2,000. Uh, the cost that dentists charge patients when they use nitrous oxide is between $75 and $100. In my practice, the cost was just for the disposable mask, which was $50. The insurance at this time does not cover nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide, it has uh, lots of uses in the office for minimally invasive procedures. I used it most frequently for vasectomies in my office, but the other minimally invasive procedures are shown in this slide. The adverse uh, events are an occasional nausea, but this dissipates very, very quickly when the gas is turned off. In summary, more and more urologic cases are going to be done in the outpatient setting. Using nitrous oxide significantly adds to patient comfort. And there really are no adverse events or complications from the use of nitrous oxide. I also believe that adding this to your armamentarium is a great differentiator to attract new patients to your practice. I hope you found this uh, video helpful and useful regarding the use of nitrous oxide. If you would like my white paper on the use of nitrous oxide, kindly contact me at the email address shown on the last slide. Thank you.